I previously posted a video explaining two ways to get Premiere working on two screens. If you need to get the two monitor set up working, you can use the link above to watch that video. But in this video, I'm taking it a bit further and looking at what I've found to be the best arrangement of panels for efficient working while making use of the two monitor setup. The two monitor setup gives you additional screen space and I'll take you through my recommended layout to benefit from that extra space. So welcome back to the video darkroom and let's get started. Premiere comes with a set of default workspaces and a workspace is simply a layout of panels. Here are the workspaces that are set up by default. The workspaces have arrangements of panels within panel groups. The All Panels workspace opens up all the available panels that Premiere has. And then there are subsets that Adobe considers most useful for various stages of the production process. These are Assembly, Audio, Colour, Editing, etc. You can see that even on a relatively fast PC, a little time is taken to switch between the workspaces. I find that I use Assembly, editing, colour and graphics workspaces the most. I don't use the audio so much as I do most of my sound management in Audition. Beyond the assembly and editing workspaces, I would be using the essential graphics and colour workspaces as the video production progresses. Well, this is all very well and you can even speed up the process by learning the shortcuts to quickly navigate between the workspaces but there are drawbacks with this constant changing. First drawback is that it takes a little time for Premiere to redraw the screen and this can interrupt the flow of your work. Then there are the differences in where certain things are located when you change from one workspace to another and this can get in the way of a fluid and fast workflow. More importantly though, when we are set up to use two monitors the standard workspaces do not make use of the extra screen real estate that you gain with the two monitor setup. So here's how I've laid out my two monitor workspace to take advantage of both monitors and reduce the amount of workspace switching at the same time. In my video for enabling Premiere for a second screen, I covered two methods. The first method is to enable the two monitors in preferences. If you're running Windows, you should ensure that your desktop is extended across the two monitors rather than duplicated. In recent versions of Windows, you can do, set this up with Ctrl-P, choose Extended. Then in Preferences, go to Playback and enable your two monitors. This puts the playback onto your second monitor. And this is fine and you can reduce the size of the program monitor on your main Premiere screen to take advantage of the other screen, the larger display. The disadvantage is that you can't eliminate the program monitor from the Premiere display as you will still need it for the transport controls and for drawing any text or graphics on the video as the second display will be view only and you can't interact with it. So I suggest that a better way to do this is not to enable the monitors in preferences, but simply to drag the program monitor panel onto your second screen. Let's uncheck the monitors in preferences. Now you can click on the program monitor name and drag it across to your second screen. Drag it out to fill as much of the second monitor as you wish and this will free up the area where the program monitor was on your first screen and you can use this for something else. And here's how I like to organize the panels to make use of that space that we have just gained from moving the program monitor out to the second screen. When I'm editing, I like to have a large timeline area but also have access to the project bins and the effect controls the Lumetri control panel along with Lumetri scopes and the essential graphics panel. With these on the screen, at the same time, everything is at hand just as I need it. I should point out that I am using a 4K monitor and that helps to get the level of detail required on the Premiere layout. 
If your monitor is lower resolution, then you may have to make some compromises. I use six panel groups for my two monitor workspace. The top left is where I keep the project panel and the bins, etc. This means that my project assets are always readily available to me and there's a good space for me to read the descriptions, the rating and other related pro properties that I may be interested in. The top middle is primarily for my effect controls and I like to have a decent amount of space for this so that I can see and adjust the keyframes easily. Top right is for the source monitor and Lumetri scopes, depending on if I'm looking for a piece of content or adjusting the exposure or colour. Bottom left, while ignoring the tools panel, which I always keep to the left, is the timeline. And this is where the main action takes place, so I like to have plenty of space for it. I also like to have the track height a little higher than the default, you can do this in one step by using shift and equals. Finally, on the bottom right is where I locate the effects, essential graphics and color panels. I find that this location provides plenty of room for finding effects, motion graphics or adjusting the levels and color of clips. To get your layout like this, you can firstly adjust the panel group sizes by dragging the boundaries any way as you wish to get them the sizes you need. You can then move panels from one group to another by dragging the panel name. For example, if we wanted to move this captions panel from the top left group to the bottom right group, simply drag the panel name to the middle of the panel group or onto the menu bar for that new group. If you don't drag to one of these areas, you'll see that a kind of arrow shape appears and releasing here will cause a new group to be created at that side. If you mess up the layout, you can get back to normal by clicking on the workspace menu button and choosing reset to saved layout. When you've got the arrangement as you want, then you can save this as a new workspace ready to be called up at any time. Go to Window, Workspaces, save as a new workspace and you'll have your new layout ready to be used at any time. All of the existing workspace layouts will continue to be available and you can change the order of them in the workspace bar as you need. Go to Edit, Workspaces at the end of the workspaces bar and choose Edit Workspaces. You can then drag the layouts up or down to change the order of them. Well, I hope that that has helped you get more benefit from the two monitor setup by making better use of the extra space you have gained by moving the program monitor to the second screen. And if you find benefit on this video, then please hit the like button. Thanks so much. So if you've enjoyed this video and benefited from it, then please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell and you'll be notified of the new videos as they're uploaded. I'm going to post a new video each week covering Premiere Pro, After Effects, Audition, Photoshop and Lightroom. So if you're interested in learning about these projects, then please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell and get a new video every week.